Hey y'all, I'm Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. And welcome back for another Plan With Me video. I just used this Kittens and Tea Kit by The Glam Planner. And I absolutely loved it. I was not sold when I was using it, which is strange because I absolutely had to have it. And then it was not working, but I think it turned out pretty good. And I love all the rose gold hints. So... I was pretty happy with this week. It is Sunday right now and I am filming my plan with me. So now let's get started on next week. Is this next week? Feels like a second page. Nope. Hopefully this week the camera will participate because last week, I swear y'all, no matter what I did, my camera kept cutting out and it was, I mean, if you watch last week's video, I think you see like five minutes of playing with me and the rest is just jumping from partially done layout to partially done layout to fully done layout. <laughs> oh, it's ridiculous. So. Oh, I'm getting my traveler's notebook this week. I'm so excited getting a lot of mail this week because I've been working on my gift guide and so I've got all these presents coming in I have to take pictures of and write a review on and do my big gift guide and I'm pretty excited about it I love doing my gift guide every year so this week I I don't know I've been a little frustrated and upset and depressed lately just for no reason like I think it's just because I've been busy and I've been having th some things go on at my job that are really frustrating and so I've been using really pretty kits because that is one thing that makes me happy when I'm upset and gets me actually motivated to work on things is having a pretty planner. If it is not pretty, I am much more likely to just not use it. So this week, I'm pulling out the big guns and I'm going to use my In the Rain kit by Scribble Prints Co. I have been saving this one since I got it, which it's not like me, but I used my last Scribble Prints Co. kit like the second I got it, this one, and I didn't want to do two like back to back. And so I've been saving it. So obviously September 18th, I haven't been saving it for like forever, but I am one of those people that does not save things when I get them and I like them, I use them right away. I don't believe in saving things you like just because you like them. If I have something I want to use, I'm going to use it. That's the point of having it. So here's the kit. It has the little freebie page, has these adorable unicorns. This is my favorite part. My husband's squeaking the door. The full boxes, yeah, full ombre boxes and the full decorative boxes. I don't know which one's my favorite. Maybe one of these six. Honey, do you know where my scissors are? I do not know where your scissors are. I I just brought them over here. Can you find them? They're under my cookies. Obviously, that's where we keep scissors in this house. Obviously. Obviously. Are you going to come plan with me, baby? Um, after I'm finished making food. What are you making? Top ramen. Top ramen. <laughs> we are 12. Yes, we are. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. All right, then we've got our washi and we've got our headers. We've got our little things. Oh, I don't even know my work schedule for the next week to put it in here. We've got our weekly sidebar and our weekend. We've got some appointment labels. The little icons. Oh, we've got our pretty boxes. I love those boxes. Bill due. Bills are always due. And then we've got the bottom washing. So that's what we're going to start with, of course, is our bottom washing. Oh, okay. Should 
Should I use the date covers this week, honey? Um, They're yeah. so pretty, but they just don't work in my planner very well. I used them last time. It wasn't perfect, but it was okay. I'm not going to do it every week. I actually like how my um, planner has it up there, the font and all. It's just pretty neutral, so that kind of works. Now, once you fall down the rabbit hole of kits, it's really hard, I think, to get out of the rabbit hole because I was like, I'm never going to use kits. I've got all my Mamby books. I'm set for life. And then I got my first kit. And since I got my first kit, I have done nothing but kits. I haven't even pulled out a Mamby book in like a month. So, I'm afraid... I'm afraid I will never touch them again. Good things are going to happen. I hope so. I hope covering this good things are going to happen quote is not um, a bad thing. Maybe that means good things are not going to happen. Do you think that's what that means, honey? Oh, it might, yeah. All right, y'all, my camera cut out. It keeps saying I have too much, like, um, Oh, what do you call it? What do you call it, honey? Too much memory. Too much memory? Well, no, if I had too much memory, that would be the opposite problem. Not enough memory? I have not. Too much in your storage? Take your pick. Yeah, one of those. And so it keeps cutting out, and it's super annoying. I don't want to use all of these, like, up on the same... Tuesdays. This is us, though, so that's important. And the flash. Got a lot of good shows this week. Are you excited, baby? Yes. Clapped. This is Modern Family. So what I was telling y'all before my camera went AWOL was that <sighs> I'm trying to figure out my planner setup for next year. I know. It's crazy. I can't believe I have to go through all of this again. I just finished telling you guys everything. Uh, all right, honey, this time you tell it. I don't remember. I, I just went through it for like 10 minutes. You don't remember? No. Nope. Well, pay attention, because if my camera goes out again, you're telling it the third time. Mm. <laughs> you think that'll happen, y'all? No. Yeah. All right, so... What I was saying was, if you guys have seen the Planner Girl release this week, then you kind of know the dilemma. They're very pretty, but not all of them are exactly what I'm looking for. I definitely need rose gold discs. So then the question is, you know, do you buy a happy girl planner just to harvest the metal discs and not actually use the planner because that seems like a waste but they're not selling the metal discs right now so that's literally the only way to get them and so I don't know 
I've thought about it. I already bought my classic planner for next year and I do like it, but it's not like my absolute favorite. I could definitely change my mind if something better were to come along, if that makes any sense. And so I'll show you the one that I got. I'm trying to figure out my whole planner system and I already explained all of this to y'all. So um, excuse me if it's a little hard to go back and explain it again because now I don't remember what I've said, what you guys heard, what you, you haven't heard. I don't think you heard any of it, but I've obviously already said it. So I feel like I've already told it to you. So I guess we're just gonna have to start from the beginning. I bought a classic size from the release at the end of September and I do like it. It's very pretty, but it doesn't like, I don't know. I'll show it to you. It's this one. And I just did a flip through. So you might've seen that. It's very pretty. It's the 20 Fleur de Lis, Fleur de 18. It's the Bonjour French related one rosé all day. It's very pretty. I do like it, but I just don't love all the red and yellow. Okay, so my camera did cut out. Not quite when I thought it did, but like five seconds later. But at least I caught it that time. <laughs> so, you know, improvements. Jeez, honey, what was that? Honey, are you okay? Did Just you cut kick yourself? The glass kick the glass. Kick, kick the glass and shattered it. Yes, but are you okay? I don't know yet. Give me a second. My husband might be bleeding out. We're not sure yet. Okay, so I wanted to put this here and this up here. Then I have two horses next to each other, but at the same time, does that matter? I don't know. I am okay, but as soon as you're done with this section, I have to do a vacuum job real quick. Okay, we'll pick up the big pieces, baby. Do you need my help? I don't think so. Okay. Just keep doing All right. So, where was I? I showed you the the classic planner. So I really like both of the daydreamer planners that they came out with. However, um, they're both horizontal and I need vertical. So that kind of ruins my life. And so the question is in order to use one of the daydreamer planners, like I would want to, I would have to get both of them because one, the one I like has those mint green rings and I definitely need rose gold. So I'd have to get that one for the cover, the one with the rose gold rings for the rings, and then use the vertical boxes out of the one I already have. That's three planners just to make one Franken planner and I just, I'm not sure that's worth it. Um, especially because that's not even taking into consideration the two traveler's notebooks, my big diary, uh, memory planner notebook. I want to have a little meal planning budget kind of thing. I mean, it, it, it just, it's starting to be too many, you know, like it's just too much. It's too much. And so I have to figure out where to draw the line and I'm just not sure where that is yet. So. I think I'm gonna wait until my traveler's notebooks get here and I get them set up and I can decide then um, exactly which ones I want and why and the whole nine yards, you know? Right now it's just too much. So, I did decide to go down the traveler's notebook loophole, journey, whatever you want to call it, rabbit hole. 
I love my happy planner, don't get me wrong, but I want something little that I can put in my purse and carry around with me and um, especially because I want a budget planner and I do pretty well with tracking my budget stuff in this planner, in my big happy planner. I mean, I've got my budget stuff every week, you know, and so, but when I go out and I, you know, buy, spend money at Hobby Lobby or I do this or I do that, I don't track that as well as I could. And I really need to start tracking that because, you know, even if it's not a big bill, it adds up, little things add up. And so I definitely need to start tracking all of that. And it's kind of important. And so I made the decision that I was going to start a budget planner, a little one that I can keep in my purse. So I had first looked, of course, at a mini happy planner but I couldn't find the one I wanted at Staples. It just wasn't out. And so I started looking at alternatives. And, well, there's lots of alternatives, but the one I really liked was a traveler's notebook. And so I started looking at those. I found a rose gold scalloped one on Etsy that I love. And so I decided I was going to get it and I was going to put some May Designs notebooks in it because they're so pretty and you can get them with all the special inserts. So I got a budget one and one for blog post ideas. Um, I just got two right now because while they're gorgeous, they're, they're not exactly cheap. Um, so I'm just going to do a little at a time. So... was I going with that? Does anyone know? No one knows but me. Oh, so I decided that I wanted to have a place to write down all my ideas, all my budget stuff on the go. Like when I'm out, like at Hobby Lobby last time, I saw all these pretty things that were like, oh, I can do a blog post about this. Oh, I can do an Instagram post about that. Oh, this would be so cute to make, you know? And so I had all these ideas and I take pictures of them, but then my phone gets full, like now with storage problems, I just delete everything. And so I don't actually ever keep those ideas. And so I need a place when I'm out and about to just write ideas down and keep track of all the stuff, you know, just all the stuff. And so I decided I was going to get a little traveler's notebook, a little pocket wide one for all my ideas, all the stuff. It's going to be excellent. And uh, I'm pretty excited about it. And so then 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 the problem happened because after I already decided that I was on YouTube and I saw the prettiest traveler's notebook you ever did see it's from the planner society I don't rem I don't really know what month it is um, but it was from a couple months ago like June or July maybe it's the floral one with the pinks and the purples and I I love it, y'all. I love it so much. I have to have it. I have to have it. And so then I'm like, okay, well then that's two traveler's notebooks and a classic planner and my memory planner. Like, that's a lot of planners. And yes, I know we're planner girls and we love our planners. But I have to have a functional amount, right? Like, it can't just be insane. It could just be insane, but then I wouldn't use them. And so I decided that instead of keeping product ideas, I can keep just an idea sheet in my on the go one. I was gonna use the other one for a product idea one. 
that I'm going to keep at the house because right now I will get um, just like this, just like a sheet pad of paper and I will write down like all my ideas for my products that I'm working on. So like right now I'm doing my uh, printable planners and I will write down like, okay, my camera cut out again. And I believe I was talking about my traveler's notebook, um, the product one. And so I'm going to set it up with one notebook for like my printable planners, one for my new stickers that I'm going to do, one for, you know, my ebooks, just all, all the different things. So I'm pretty excited about it. I'm going to have to move all this. Okay. It'll be okay. But until all of that comes, I'm just, I'm worried that it's too much, you know? And so here's the question that I have. When I look at the happy planner girl stuff and try to decide what I need for next year, I know I want the little daydreamer mini for our meal planner. Okay, so that one's a go for sure. I know I want the Daydreamer Classic with the rose gold blush colored metal rings for the rings. And so I don't actually want the planner. So I could be persuaded to not buy that one because... You know, they're not selling the rings separately right now, but I'm fairly confident that at some point in the future, they will be selling them separately. There's been enough talk and hype about them that as long as they're halfway decent and people like them, at some point they will come out with them, you know? And so I, I could wait. I mean... I know people have a problem with the plastic ones. They say they're um, flimsy, and I get that. I use my deluxe cover, like, every day for everything, and I've never had a problem with the discs. I had one disc break on my memory planner one time, and it was um, like that when I bought it, unfortunately. Um but it was the only one at the store and so I bought it even though it was broken and I wrote Mambi and they sent me replacement discs for it, not a problem. And you know, for the whole year, I've been using three Happy Planners. I use one here, the one you guys see every week. I have my big Happy Planner, which is my memory planner that I just started in July that I use basically as a journal and then I have my work planner, which is the same classic sized rings. And I don't have a problem with them, you know. And so getting another one, I don't think that would bug me, you know, using the plastic ones again next year. I'd rather have the metal ones just because they seem cooler and fancier and they're the latest thing. And I like that. But is it a deal breaker for me? No, I could live without them if if I needed to and so what I'm trying to decide is if I forego getting the classic daydreamer with the blush rings I really like the monthly trend center with the hot pink rings it's not my normal style at all but I really like that it's monthly I do like hot pink I mean rose gold's my jam but I've had hot pink things for many years. I do like that, like it. Um, but I really just like the monthly layout for social media. I feel like that would be an excellent social media planner. So I could plan out just all my social media things. Um, the problem with that is I don't have a social media planner right now. I kind of have most of it automated and that's how I like it. I don't like to have to do all of that, but I'm trying really hard to kick it into gear 
this just does not want to be straight for next year um you know i really want to go full time with the blog and so i'm even though i already do a lot with the blog i just want to do more I, I i want i want to reach that next level you know and so I'm wondering if maybe I should switch up my social media, um, do some more things with it, track it a little more even. Even if I don't use it to plan out what to do, I could always use it to plan out or to track my social media stats from week to week. Maybe see some trends, maybe see what I need to change. And so that's what I'm trying to decide is whether I need the monthly planner and if I need the monthly planner, will I use it? Because buying it just to buy it is pointless. That's not my jam. I don't like wasting money. I don't mind spending money on pretty things, obviously, even though I probably shouldn't. I'm on a pretty tight budget. But if I'm gonna spend money on something, it really needs to be functional. I need to use it. I need to have a purpose for it. I can't buy random things just to have them. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like it needs, it needs to have a purpose. <laughs> it needs to be a method to my madness. So that's what I'm struggling with. And I don't know, I'm gonna have to add up all of the accessories that I want and then decide like, Okay, is this worth it? Yes or no? And the answer may be no. When all is said and done, it may not be. I may just need to track social media stats in uh, my traveler's notebook, in this notebook, you know, in, in, somewhere else that I already have. I may need to just figure out a new way to set that up. And that very well may be what happens that's why I want to get my traveler's notebook in first before I make any other decisions and I've got time because the new happy girl line doesn't come out till the 16th which is don't know because I've covered up all my dates because you know that's pointless this Monday so I've got a week to figure it out which is good and bad good because I've got a week and bad because while well, one of my travelers notebooks is coming in uh, by Friday oh, so excited that's the planner society the other one I'm having made from a shop on Etsy they make them there it's going to be gorgeous but that means, you know, it's not like a off the rack kind of flatter. I won't get it for like a month. So I definitely won't have that one planned out. So I guess I just need to sit down and like brain map it out. What I think is going to work. And once I get my other ones set up, that will be, that will be good. All right. So I'm going to use this really fancy uh, label to mark that my traveler's notebook is coming in because I'm so excited about it. I'm so excited about it. And it said that it would be here anytime between the 11th and the 14th. And so it may be here before this, but if I put it on the 11th, then I'm gonna start getting excited about it like on the 11th. And so I'm going to put it on the 14th. Where did I leave off, honey? I have no idea. So, as you guys might have noticed, I have gotten better at figuring out when the heck my camera's about to die. And so, I don't think you guys have missed any of the actual plan with me this time, but my <clears throat> camera is literally only letting me film in uh, like eight minute chunks. And so this video is gonna be a little choppy, like chop suey, but without the yumminess. Well, it might be yummy. I feel like unicorns, it's yummy. So 
right, so this is what I do when um, I've taken up a sticker too many times and it needs a little more adhesive is I put a little bit of glue stick under there and then I like seal it down and it works pretty good and then it won't come up anymore so it's kind of weird I mean glue stick is a little all chopped up but this is just a repositionable glue stick by Elmer's and I love it because it's repositionable but I just literally take a bit of glue off with my nail and put it under there and then and I'm gonna have to move this one down so you may see me do it again in just a second so I don't remember what I was talking about oh my monthly social media calendar what do you think honey honey do you have headphones on now right, we're gonna have to throw something at him aren't we okay let's use this eraser did that work not hey um you're supposed to be talking to me and keeping me entertained uh you're entertaining your people with you it's a joint effort we're a team oh so i was asking you um what do you think about having a separate planner for social media do you think i'll use it or not <clears throat> i don't think you'll use it i think it's wasteful a waste that's, that's what it. i worry about so with the happy girl line that they just came out with they came out with a strictly monthly planner and i'll have to show it to you but it doesn't have the weeks it just has the month view and then like a to-do list for every month and so i thought maybe that would be good for social media because i could like track how things do every day and what I want to you know promote and everything but I feel like if my goal is to track things it would be useful if my goal is to plan out like oh today I'm gonna do two Facebook posts and an Instagram I don't think I would use it because I wouldn't look at it every single day do you agree I do so I just don't know I'm torn I really want to up my social media game for this next year, mainly because um, I don't I don't really understand it. I might have to have someone else look at it, but Pinterest is my biggest social media platform, you know, and unfortunately. Um, you know, I hit 19,000 fans on there, like, last year. And no matter what I do, I have not been able to surpass 19,000 fans. And so I need to figure out why and what I can do to fix that, you know, honey? You realize I'm talking to you, right, babe? Yes, I do. I can hear you. Okay. And so it's kind of frustrating but I'm not sure what to do about it, and so I need to figure out a new plan. Well, let's just be honest. If uh, you could find a use for it and had enough money, you'd buy all the happy plans. That's true. So it's not necessarily that you need it. It's that you want an excuse to buy more happy planners. I do, and somebody mentioned <laughs> that that one would be a good social media calendar, and I agree, but I just am not sure... Because I've already got the two traveler's notebooks, my classic, and I want a mini for the kitchen. So that's four planners for next year. Normal people do not have a separate planner for every aspect of their life. Okay, but am I a normal person? Because no. your qualifier is irrelevant. <laughs> the sooner you realize that, the happier you will be in your life, baby. Well, I'm fairly happy. Good. So, back to my problem. Do I need it? No. Okay. Second question. That doesn't actually answer anything. I'm still not convinced I don't need it. But I appreciate your opinion. Absolutely. Okay. Back to the second question. Um, oh. So you know how I already bought my classic for next year? Mm -hmm. This one that's sitting over here. 
Okay, well with the Happy Girl release, they brought out two new pretty rose gold planners. Say, ooh. Ooh. Say, ah. Ah. Okay, so you wanna know the problem, right? Uh, but this is ridiculous. What, what's the problem? I don't know. Here's the problem. Well, we already know that the problem with the planner I currently have is that it has all that stupid red and yellow on it, right? And it drives me nuts. Yeah, don't worry. It doesn't like you either. Yeah, well, it has to. I own it. Anyways, like I was saying before, you were so rude. <laughs> <laughs> the new Happy Girl series has two rose gold planners. Now, one of them has the pretty metal rose gold wrist discs right 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 so I could potentially buy that one and have metal rose gold desks that sounds exciting and a fun a rose gold desk or disc disc is that not the same word mm, well yeah no why are you mean do you not like me oh I'm... I love you well, I also love torturing you oh okay well stop <laughs> <laughs> jerk Anyways, like I was saying before so rudely interrupted, um, metal rose gold discs, okay? Amazing. Amazing. They don't sell them separately right now, so if I want them, I have to buy that planner, right? Right. The problem is, I don't like the cover, and it's a horizontal planner. Horizontal. I don't need horizontal, I need vertical. So, I could buy that one. Not there, they. I know. If they just made it vertical, like, I could live with the cover. Anyways, like I was saying. I could buy that one and just switch out the discs on the one I have right now. But then I buy a second planner just for the discs. Okay? Is that worth it? No. I don't know. Hey, it might be. They're metal. Metal. It's still not worth it. Okay, except for one thing. And you know all the details. You know all the details. Do I need a new work planner for next year? Mm. Because I have one right now. That's what I did last year. So I bought two. One horizontal, one vertical. I use a horizontal at work. Yeah, that's a very good question. I don't know. I don't know if I need a work planner for next year or not. If I do, that's the perfect solution, right? Buy both, switch out the discs, use the vertical at home and the horizontal at work. I don't know if I need one at work or not. So it kind of makes it hard to decide. Okay. I took a little break for a while there. I don't exactly know where I left off. So we're just going to get back into it. So... I don't know. I'm gonna have to see the planners in person and I'm gonna have to sit down and have like a planning strategy session and decide just how I'm going to, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it, how I'm going to do my social media for next year. I almost just ripped off this unicorn's foot. You okay, honey? Yeah, my knee and mouth are killing me. Does your face hurt? Because it's killing you. Because it's killing me. What do you think I should do with Pinterest? Oh my god! I just ripped the unicorn's head off! What? His head! It's gone! Oh no! Oh no! It just stuck to my finger! Oh no! Trevor, this is not funny! <laughs> I know! I'm a headless un unicorn! That's the whole reason I bought this kit! I know, but all you gotta do is put the unicorn's head back on. Point. point is that he's headless. Unicorn.
unicorn surgery. Okay, I think I got it. All right, if you look really close, you can tell, but otherwise it just looks like he has a strong cheekbone. <laughs> okay, so the question is, where to put the other ones? So I'm thinking maybe one on this one. Like here. Like when they go off just a little bit. Plus I really like this cloud, so I don't want to cover it completely. I'm thinking one last one down here. But the only other place I would want it is in this box. I like to put them in the boxes. But if I put it here, oh, that's really cute. I might have to do that. I have to cut off her legs, but I think that'll be worth it. The simple fact that this unicorn is this one and I don't want them to be right next to each other. So I'll put some rain clothes or something in this. I have a lot of white space this week. It's okay. I'll be able to fill it in with something. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, so cute. I'm impersonating you, honey. I think he has his headphones on again. Honey? Say again, baby girl. I said I'm impersonating you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't like it when you do that. Why not? Because you make me sound super... Weird. Uh, awesome? Weird. I said that you said it was fuck out. Yeah, that's not what I said. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm talking about. I don't want to put this pink heart over his paint one. It would be cuter. Isn't that weird? No. Good. I'm glad you responded even though you have no idea what I'm talking about. Yes. Weirdo. Yes. Are you just going to say yes to everything? No. <laughs> you were waiting for that. I was. I know. <laughs> You're so funny. I forgot to laugh. <laughs> oh. I thought that was funny. Did you not think that was funny, honey? I thought it was hilarious. You're weird. I know. So what I was asking you was, what do you think I should do? About. My social media stuff, honey. What? What do you think I should do about my social media stuff? Well, you can incorporate it into your current planner. You think I should just incorporate it into like my my big planner here? Yeah, I do like uh, start using the sidebar. I do. I use my sidebar right now for um, things I want to try to do every day. So like, um, I've been using one big habit tracker for brands since I'm trying to set up a whole bunch of stuff for quarter four. I put one brand a day that I want to email. Either for my gift guide or to work with or to follow up with. One brand a day. And then my other one. Um, I do different things with. And then. I usually put like a little habit tracker for Instagram. But I just don't know what to do for Pinterest to try and get my numbers up. I've never really had to be super strategic about Pinterest before, if that makes sense. Like, I've definitely done things, but not... I 
I don't know. I've always run Pinterest a certain way and it's always worked really well for me. And I get lots of traffic from it. I don't think that's a problem. I just... Just not getting the follower count that I want. Hey, honey. Yeah, baby. Since I'm being all strategic today, what do you think about my weekly videos? Uh, not sure I'm the right person to ask about that. Why? Well, I just... I don't know. I, I'm not really a film critic. I don't mean it like that. <laughs> Weirdo. You're so strange. I mean that... Um, I'll film really well for like a week and then I won't for a week, you know? Right. Or, um, you know, and I'm just not very consistent with it and I'm not consistent with it because I don't have a great camera, like getting a new camera or finding my camera and seeing if it has video cap capabilities would help. But short of that, so I'm almost done with this week. I have a couple of white spaces that are not filled in. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those, but... I guess I will figure it out as the week comes because I don't want to fill them in with like random stuff now that I may not use. So it's okay. I will fill them in as it goes and that will work just fine. Just trying to figure out what all I need to do still what I need to put on here, so. I pulled this guy up from down here because I did not like it. I have not figured out where to put it yet, so I'm just kind of holding it. Put it on my little caddy there. All right, so, oh, I don't love that. I still want to flag though, so maybe I'll use one of these the uh, blue one I don't like that that takes up that whole space so let's cut it down a little tiny flag husband must be tired from talking about blogging because he is asleep huh honey you know what I mean? Can you hear him snoring? I can hear him snoring, but I don't know that y'all can. He does snore sometimes, but he is not a crazy snorer like me. I snore like a truck driver. Right, honey? He's definitely asleep. I keep thinking he's going to wake up. I don't know why he sleeps the sleep of the dead. I really don't like having such big white spaces. Uh, short of putting some more decorative things in there. I don't know what else to do about it. Yeah, no what I mean, Jelly Bean. So, I'm kind of kind of running out of things anyways. I mean, the only other things I could do is use these washies. Could put some right there. I think for now, honestly, I will just leave it. Um, I may go back and put something in there this week as we get going. I've got another list. If I decide on Thursday that I need more things to do. But until then, that's fine. 
I'm gonna start filling some of this out that way I can kind of see exactly what I've got going on so I will be back I think we are finished for the week so I really like how this turned out um, doesn't have any rose gold which of course makes me very sad I wish there was rose gold and every week every spread all the time <laughs> but I love these unicorns so I was willing to give up the rose gold for a week I really just think they're super cute so I'm pretty happy with it I've got a couple spaces that are blank but that's okay um, because I will fill those in as the week goes on um, I really want to stick this washi right here because I think it would be super cute but I'm gonna hold off and wait because I'm just not sure I also really want to stick this cute little guy he's the last one I have and I feel like he needs to go somewhere I'm gonna put him down here nah. I don't know reason to put him here but I want to so I'm going to it's my planner I do what I want um so I'm pretty happy with it I scooted the date cover up this week, which means I had this much more room to plan in my like weekly spread, which was kind of nice because like in this week when you do the like deco and things, I didn't have a place for a checklist every day. I lost two checklists which is okay but it it made some of this kind of tight because I had to put like dog haircut on my product planning and grocery shopping on my blog planning section I, I like to have a good amount of checklists all over that way I can kind of fit the things where they need to be that makes sense for me um so I liked that scooting it up gave me room to put a checklist on every single day um, that really worked for me and then I actually used this blank space um, to call out some of the things that I need to do that I've been on my to-do list for the last couple weeks that I've not been getting done so I'm pretty happy with it I just put this guy here I really liked how this turned out with the little flum slate on the cloud so I'll figure out what to do with this guy and then I'll put another little icon on there. So I've got some room to, to grow into this as the week progresses and that's good. And the main thing that's taking over right now are all my TV shows which never seem to be long enough. I'm always like what to watch, what to watch, but that's okay. I'm really excited for my Traveler's Notebook to come. Logically, I know I don't need a monthly social media calendar, but I'm still not sold. I may need it. I'm not sure. I may go against all logic and get it anyways. So we will see. We will see what I decide to do. I'm going to sit down on Saturday and think through some social media things. And just decide what I want to do for social media next year. If there's any way I can change what I'm doing now to work better. Then that's what I'm going to try to do. So we will see. But anyways, this I, once again was the In the Ring kit from Scrubble Prints Co. It was very pretty. I will show you what I have left. Um, I didn't put the date dots up at the top. Which don't normally do oh there's a poor unicorn leg on the back of this that's kind of hilarious I can put them up there because then I would know what's what problem is if you put them there these days are a little funny that's okay let's see I don't like not knowing the D's, so I think it's worth it. 
13, 12, yeah, it's close enough. Nobody cares but me and Biddy, my dog. She definitely cares. She's on the floor right now sleeping. I can tell it's affecting her dreams. So I was trying to say goodbye and my camera cut out. So this is everything for the week. I will be back at the end of the week to take the pictures of what it looks like and to share it on YouTube. But I really like how it looks this week. Prance in the rain. Can't wait for my trailer's notebook. All right, y'all. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Let me know what you think and uh, what you want to see next time. More rose gold, more unicorns, more rose gold unicorns. Oh my God, if somebody made a rose gold unicorn kit, I would die. Get on that, baby. All right, see you later, y'all. Bye.